So welcome back everyone. Today we're going to go over one of the very first steps to prepare for the fall overseed. We're going to talk about dethatching and how to do it with the Sun Joe dethatcher. So let's get started. So one of the most important things that you can do before you do your overseed is dethatch your lawn. Dethatching is getting out of any dead matter that's in your grass. Uh, there's like a thatch layer between the soil, uh, the top of the soil and the bottom of the soil. Uh, what's really important about getting that out of the ground is when you go to do your overseed, you want good seed to soil contact. And what this does is it thins out the lawn, it gets any dead material out so that seed can fall down into the soil uh, frame, into the soil structure, and you can get some good uh, germination with that seed to soil contact. So if you're wondering where I'm at today, this isn't my home, this is my project lawn. It's actually, I call it the project lawn, but it's actually my sister's house. Um, she has strictly used the Yard Mastery blend of fertilizers in her yard. As you can see, it looks really great. I'm, I've been really proud with the Yard Mastery results that she had from putting down Flagship. She's put down the uh, Freedom Fertilizer, um, she's had a really great result here. She will be overseeding with their starter fertilizer as well. But today, in order to prepare for that fall overseed, we're going to dethatch this lawn. So if you're subscribed to my channel, and if you're not, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss out on future content. I put out a video a couple weeks ago on the Groundskeeper 2 rake right here. It's a great dethatching rake for small areas, but she has roughly 2,000 square feet in her front right here, and she has about almost 5,000 in her backyard. So we're gonna be using the Sun Joe dethatcher here today. This is the 13 inch model. Um, it does have a bag in the back, but I recommend not putting it on and you'll see why in a few minutes when we go to use this. Um, but this is a great model. I'll leave links below to where you can find this model. It is electric, so you do need a heavy duty uh, power cord um, for this model. Um, we'll show you how to use your core management properly in a little bit. But again, this is great time and lifesaver here. Uh, because you don't it's all electric. There's no manual work as opposed to rake Especially for those larger areas. So with the Sun Joe deep thatcher you get two attachments You get this one with the tines here, which is pretty similar to the groundskeeper the tines on it And you also get here the scarifier um, So it's really great. You can switch these out if you, There's just a couple screws right here to switch it out on the bottom the scarifier is great if you want to do put some grooves in the ground and you really want to get that dead material out so this is great that you have two options to put on the Sun Joe dethatcher here. So before we go and put the Sun Joe dethatcher out here and let it do its job, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna lower the height of cut a little bit on, with our lawnmower. We're just gonna lower just a, a little bit so when we go to do the dethatching, it's easier to get through as opposed to thick, you know, high height of cut. So before you go to do your dethatching, you definitely wanna lower it a couple notches, your grass a couple notches, um, we're doing it in early August uh, because I have time right now and I want to show my subscribers uh, how to do it. Um, but what we're going to do is she has some flagship left over. We're going to throw that out uh, in her yard just to help with any heat stress through the remainder of August. Um, obviously, you want to be doing this at least a week or two out before you do your overseed. I just want to show my subscribers earlier on how to do this. So that's why we're doing it at this time of the month, early August. It's not ideal, but we'll be fine we'll get through the rest of august and we're going to hit her lawn with some nice uh overseed some seed to put down in early uh, september so we just got done lowering the height of cut as low as possible it's a little messy out here today the grass is a little wet we have our extension cord hooked up to our the thatcher here it's a 12 uh, gauge extension cord it's 100 foot long you can't go any greater than 100 foot you can do 50 foot at 14 gauge as well if you would like um, 100 foot i just feel you can obviously do more with 100 foot as opposed to the 50 foot um, and one of the key things is you want to work away from yourself so for instance you want to go start out going this way to the right you don't want to go towards where the extension cord is plugged in it's just easier for cord management purposes and you'll see why in a second i already did two passes here and you can see a bunch of you know clumps here dead material out of the ground which is great that's what we want so i'm going to continue to do these passes and and watch that extension cord out it's just going over to the right here 
as opposed to going towards the extension cord. It's just going to make your life a lot easier going away from the extension cord. So take a look how I'm doing this and I'll do a couple passes now to show you. So as you can see, as you're going along each pass, that extension cord comes out a little bit more, but it's not in your previous line of path or in the line of path that you're gonna go do next. So I suggest putting the extension cord in a spot and work away from it. So as you can see, we got a decent amount of material right here. There are a bunch of settings on here uh, for the Sun Joe. You have a zero, which is pretty much like flat to the surface. You can have a negative uh, 10 and a negative five and a five and a 10. It just lowers the height on the dethatcher here. Um, but you can put it to however you want. I do suggest going one way and then going a, another way. So go uh, do a double pass. Um, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go one way and we're gonna go another way and we're gonna get up as much as we can. We just did three passes. We did two with this, uh, without the scarifier, with a tying attachment, we went up and back this way and this way with it. And now I have the scarifier attachment on it and I went back and forth this way with it. So this is about three passes. It's a lot of clippings. It hasn't been dethatched in probably years, um, but it's really opened up that uh, grass canopy. So when we go to do that fall overseed, the grass will fall down into the canopy for good seed to soil contact. The easiest way we found getting up the clippings is not with the lawnmower, this lawnmower, it's not really bagging real well. So what I've been doing is just using my backpack blower right here and then we're just blowing them in the piles, picking them up and putting them in trash bags for the uh, recycler, recycle uh, team to come through next year in our town or next week in our town to pick up the bags. Um, you could bag it if you want with your lawnmower, if you find it easier, just with their lawnmower, it's a tractor style lawnmower. It's not picking up the uh, bagging it real well. So the backpack flower is strong enough to blow those clippings in the piles and we're just picking them up. Here's a close up now of the grass and as you can see you can see that soil canopy down in there so when we go to do our fall overseed those seeds are going to fall nicely down through those grass blades and have some good seed to soil contact and that's what you're looking for when you go to dethatch so the sun joe dethatcher it's a great tool there's two options right there the tines and the scar fire really help out with your tough grass trying to get that dead grass up as you can see we got a bunch of bags back there today from all the material that we got out of the grass. So if you have any questions or comments or concerns, comment below, I'll leave product links below also. And if you're interested in the grass seed that I'm gonna be using this year for my overseed, check out this video right here. And also, I just did a review on some affordable backpack sprayers. So if you're tired of the hose end sprayers, I'm gonna leave a video right here as well, check out that. And also subscribe right here so you don't miss out on any future content. And I'll see you in the next one.